moment, New South Wales union bosses are expected to place added pressure on the state government when talks for public sector pay rises resume today. The state treasurer, Daniel Murky, touted one-off payments and wages of around 4% last week, but leaders are expected to present a counter-proposal. The Minsk government has been under fire in recent weeks for not following through on its election promise to scrap wage caps. The public sector, including ambulance workers, understand the health services union warns more strikes are on the cards if negotiations stall further. New South Wales Treasurer Daniel Mokey was grilled by Laura Jays on the issue earlier. Oh, we're having really good and constructive conversations with trade union leaders. Yes, wasn't this the election promise that you'd give them a pay rise? They're expecting 4%. When are they going to get that? Yeah, and, and we are working through how we are repealing and replacing the Liberal National Party's unfair wages cap. Are you now finding that in government it's not as easy as done as, as said before? No, not at all. Uh, we all... The cap is going. By the end of the year then, well and truly, will we see that wages cap removed and will most public servants be getting a pay rise? Yes.